Welcome back to Quarantine Corner, where self-care means I do whatever I want. Um, it's been a while, but this time I was told to do bees or a lion, tiger king thing, but I don't feel like it. So we're gonna look at this bone. This here is one of my newest acquisitions to the shelf. It is an ankle bone from an Impala, and it has this super cool pulley joint called a double astragalus. So all ungulates have this feature. So hooved animals, we're talking elk, we're talking horses, we're talking sheep and goats and pigs. Um, and a family of animals you may not suspect. That's right, whales. Whales are ungulates. So they have one of these joints in their wrists and that helped us understand that they were once walking on land. We have a bunch of fossils that show them transitioning from a pig-like otter-ish sort of animal into the marine mammal we know and love today. The most basal whale that we know of today is called Pachycetus, and it lived an amphibious lifestyle in what is now Pakistan. Another honorable mention in the fossil record transition is called Ambulocetus, and it literally means walking whale. One of my personal favorites is Rhodocetus. It looks kind of like a sea lion. And then coming into the late Eocene, we have our recognizable whale and dolphin morphologies of Basilosaurus and Duradon. As always, thank you so much for joining me in Abby's Quarantine Corner. I uh, really hope to see you next time, whenever I feel.